I would say that when you're confessing, I would not do it on Facebook. I would not tell Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media that you may be on. I would not go about the whole world and telling the sins that you've committed. If you feel like that's what God wants you to do, listen to the Holy Spirit. But I would warn you that when we confess our sins, that he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and purify us of all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9. That's a JT scripture. Anyways, that... When we confess our sons one to another, there's a healing process as well. But if we're confessing our sins to everyone, we don't know where everybody else's spiritual walk is. Does that make sense? So if I'm confessing my sin to a new Christian and they don't know the grace and the walk that I've had with Christ, it may actually hinder their walk because of what I have said in my own struggles and my own nature of repentance. And, and there's a teaching moment that could happen there. But my suggestion and what I find in scripture is that when we're confessing our sins one to another, he's talking about the body of believers. And as a, just a blatant side note, I've confessed and I've seen confessions happen a lot at men's meeting. When we're talking about confessing, that's where I learned what confession really was. And what that was is that a bunch of men gathered together in a group and said, this is what I'm struggling with. And I've talked to God about it and I need what it is, is accountability. Confession creates accountability. And if you're not willing to be accountable to the whole wide world, then I wouldn't suggest confessing it to the whole wide world. Confess it to your brothers and sisters in Christ, to a smaller group of people. I confess some of the things that I struggle with with my wife because she's the best accountability that I have to let me know when I'm messing up. She's very good at it. <laughs> and men's meeting is also a place where you can tell brothers, hey, I'm struggling with this thought process. And every Thursday, you have men asking you, hey, how you doing? It's the best accountability in the world. Now, again, it grinds at who we are as human because we don't like accountability. We don't like discipline. But to become more like Christ, to be more what God wants us to be because it brings us into a wholer process. He knows how we're made and who we're supposed to be. And so when we try to take control of that, we end up messing it up. So when we listen to God and we try to become more like Christ, is when we start realizing that his plan, his preparation for who we are, who our actual person is supposed to be, is much better than our own mindset. Does that make sense? And so when we're confessing one to another, we confess our sins, and he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And it's interesting that when that is, it isn't repent in that wording, it is actually confess. So there is a call for us to confess to brothers and sisters in Christ for that accountability to take place. And he forgives us of those sins, the repenting that we've done. 